Hi, my name is PJ, and this video is about using Let's Encrypt. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a Let's Encrypt TLS certificate to a website hosted and managed via GitLab Pages. TLS stands for Transport Layer Security, and it's a protocol designed to make the internet more secure. TLS evolved from Secure Socket Layer, or SSL, and sometimes people use those terms interchangeably. Let's Encrypt makes the process of obtaining and applying a TLS certificate easier, automated, and free for website administrators. GitLab integrates with Let's Encrypt and allows anyone hosting a web page using GitLab pages to obtain and apply for a TLS certificate with a single click. So here I am at my profile page on GitLab, and I'm gonna go ahead and up here, click into projects and just go view all projects and click new project here. I'm going to be using a template for this one because I just wanna make a really quick and easy GitLab pages. And I'm going to do mine with Jekyll because it's something that I'm a little more used to. When I click use template, it takes me to a page where I'm going to name my project and name the namespace it'll go into as well. So for this project name, we're gonna say, call it new GitLab pages and I'll lowercase my A. I'm gonna pick a namespace. I'm just gonna use my namespace, my regular namespace rather than a group I'm in. And so that's gonna be the project URL is gitlab.com slash pjmets, my namespace, slash new dash gitlab dash pages. Project description, we're just gonna call it GitLab pages template. And again, I'm gonna get rid of that. We're gonna make this public and I'm gonna create that project. This page isn't going to go live until we run the CI CD on it. So this CI CD comes automatically in it. What I'll need to do is I'll just need to make sure the CI CD runs at some point and then that'll make the website go live at this address. Over here at namecheap.com, I went ahead and bought myself a domain name, pjmets.com. I'm surprised I hadn't done this before actually. Now with Namecheap, there's a couple docs on what I need to do to set this up. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but I am letting you know that if you're looking to buy a domain name, you can connect it to your GitLab pages pretty easily. So my CI CD pipeline ran, my pages are up, and now I just need to add the domain. So I'm gonna scroll down to settings, pages, and in here you can see that uh, pjmets.gitlab.io slash new-gitlab-pages is where my page is hosted but I need to add a new domain. So to add a new domain, you actually go right here and you click new domain. Now this next part is where you have to name the domain um, and I'm gonna be doing pjmets.com like we saw earlier. And this is the important part for this video, make sure this is toggled. So getting the certificate is as easy as leaving this already selected. Like I said at the top of the video, it's free and automated and here it tells you you can learn more by following the documentation on GitLab pages. So if you click that, it takes you right to the documentation about how to integrate with Let's Encrypt. So literally the rest of this process is creating the new domain and it'll say that's not allowed because you need to verify ownership and that's where we use this verification status here with this verification code and that's what allows us to connect pjmets.com to the GitLab pages that we made. As you can see, that same toggle is here and using Let's Encrypt is as easy as keeping that toggled. So for the rest of this process, like I said, it's all done through Namecheap. So over here is the pjmets.com. I need to head in here to manage it. I gotta go into advanced DNS. And in here is where I follow the docs to basically put here what I've taken as a token from GitLab. All I did here was follow the Namecheap docs as well as the GitLab docs to make this work. After following the docs and making sure that the records are correct, you come back to your GitLab pages settings pages and here in the pages domain. And right here is a little refresh, you retry the verification. And once that's in there correctly, you will see successfully verified domain ownership. You can see down here, GitLab is obtaining a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for this domain. So you may have noticed this may take some time. This can take about half an hour, but your security certificate will be issued at the end of that half hour and you can go in and verify it at the end. Now we should be able to go to pjmets.com and it shows us the static page that we made earlier. Oh snap, it's my custom page. I hope this video helped and showed you how simple it is to use Let's Encrypt, as simple as leaving a button toggled, and we'll see you next time.